A new study has revealed that half of young people experience a problem with mental health. The survey by the Prince's Trust focused on 16 to 25 year olds and found that 61% regularly felt stressed, 53% regularly felt anxious and 27% said they felt hopeless on a regular basis. Well, joining me now is someone who has who's had first-hand experience of anxiety and struggles with mental health, and that Josh Patterson, you may know him as JP from the reality TV show Made in Chelsea. Josh, really good that you can come in to talk about this, particularly because it's something so personal to yourself. And I have to say, as a journalist, covering the issues facing young people in mental health is, is continual, goes on all the time. But what is going on? You've been working closely with Prince's Trust. Why is this happening? Why are young people having such, a, such an issue when it comes to their mental health? Firstly, I just want to say thank you so much for, for giving me the opportunity to speak today about it. I think, I think this is what's so amazing, is that there are so many platforms now where we can share our stories and we can help other people. I think the issue that we're having with mental health right now with the younger generation, you know, I'm only 28 and I'm already looking at the younger generation going, God, you know, I, I face my own adversity, my own mental health battles, but there are so many things that I can't relate with. And I think the problem with mental health it's ever evolving. I think the issues that um, people are suffering with right now can be things like social media, um, I think financial, I think politics. You know, there's a lot going on with, with, with political parties, their uncertainty, it can leave people feeling very vulnerable. I think the main thing is though, is, is to create that platform where they can speak openly about what it is that they're going through and offer them that support. I mean, you say you feel um, a touch removed, I guess, but you yourself have dealt with mental health issues at a very young age. Um, and even at the age of 13, you tried to commit suicide. I mean, what happened there and, and how did you get, get through that? And what's the message for young people? And if anybody going for anything similar, what they should be doing as well? You know, if anybody's listening to me right now, the, the reason why I'm so passionate about speaking about my story is that, you know, I face quite a tough battle with mental health, but I'm now in a position where I can speak out about it. And the reality is, is that there is always a solution. Always, there's always that support network there. The problem is actually trying to find it. And I think, you know, as I said, I'm 28 and I'm still learning about myself. And even though I'm finding these solutions, I still have my dark days, you know, I suffer terribly from anxiety, but I'm in a far better position now. I'm far more educated with mental health. So for me to be able to have this opportunity to speak to yourself and to the people that are listening, to speak about my battles, to find those solutions, it then can hopefully inspire people to understand things a little bit better, to face it themselves and to find that support network. And how do you, what would you recommend in terms of young people dealing with the pressures um, of everyday life, be it social media, yeah. be it reality TV? I mean, somebody could watch Made in Chelsea and think, gosh, you guys are living fantastic lives, you, you look fantastic, um, you probably have lots of money. And that in itself can put a lot of pressure on any young person watching. Honey, I get pressure watching it. Yeah, I mean, please, 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 you know, don't watch these shows, don't follow social media and allow that to have an effect on your life. Enjoy it for what it is. Like social media is, it can be such a wonderful platform. You know, we're, we're in a, a society now where we've never had more communication with one another or platforms to do that. You know, things like these TV shows, they're there to entertain you, they are wonderful, but never once watch them and allow it to have a negative effect on you. Because the reality is, not the shows themselves, but what comes with these shows, you know, we, we can suffer a lot of uh, negative drawback. You know, social media can play quite a part, trolling. You know, we, we get some pretty horrendous things thrown our way on a daily basis, but it's sadly, it's part of, of the career path that we have chosen. You know, the most important thing is to focus on your own path. You know, stop comparing yourself to other people. Good advice. I'm going to have to leave it there, I'm afraid. Thank you very Josh, much. Good, good talking to you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.